Episode 8 is called Vendetta, and it's written by Beth Schwartz and Andrew Kreisberg, and it is the second part of our two-part Huntress story. We had come off last episode with Oliver meeting Helena Bertinelli, this beautiful, mysterious, enigmatic girl who is the daughter of a renowned mobster in Starling City. Three years ago, she was going to turn her father into the FBI. She put everything she had on him on a laptop. Her father found it, thought it belonged to her fiancé, and had him murdered. The two of them have uh, fallen in love, and that's where this episode starts off. I saw you kill people, remember? I kill people when it is absolutely necessary. It's not my opening move. And the way that you're going, you're gonna get somebody hurt, like my mother. The thing about Helena for Oliver is that she is the mirror-cracked version of him. Uh, you know, he's he's got his mission of vengeance, but he's never met anyone with a similar mission before, and it sort of forces him to look at himself uh, through her, you know, uh, through her eyes. And that's a very, very dangerous vision, uh, especially when Helena doesn't have any of the boundaries that Oliver has. Jessica DeGau plays Helena Bertinelli. Jessica is, she to me is the female Stephen Amell. She walked in the door, immediately was Helena, um, but also just as immediately was like, this is a future star. I can't, I, I can't wait to see what happens with her uh, in her career. She's just going places. This episode, I think most of the fans will be interested in because it's the episode where we find out how the Huntress gets her uniform uh, and gets her signature look, which is incredibly ba badass. And I give uh, all the credit in the world to Maya Manny, who is our costume designer and did an absolutely amazing job. 